Hey geometry folks, uh, today we're going to do a quick overview of circles. We're going to cover a few things, how to find the area, how to find the circumference, uh, and then also given the area of the circumference, how to find information like the radius or the diameter. So here we go. First thing we need to talk about with circles is what is a radius and a diameter, because if we don't know those things, then it makes it really hard to talk about anything else. So uh, here we go. If you think of, here's our circle, this is the center of the circle. A radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. Uh, and it's half of the distance all the way across. So uh, this would be our radius. And then the diameter is the distance all the way across the circle going through the center. So here is our diameter. All right, and diameter is usually represented with a lowercase d. Radius is usually represented with a lowercase r. Okay, so a few important things to know about the relationship between radius and diameter. Um, the radius is half of the diameter, and the diameter is twice the radius. Hopefully that makes sense. The radius is halfway across, the diameter is the whole way across. So, for example, if my radius was 10, then my diameter would be 20. If my radius was 15, my diameter would be 30. If my diameter was 12, my radius would be 6. They have that relationship that one is half of the other. Okay, so now what we want to do is talk about things like circumference. So, where'd my ratio go? Here it is. Okay, so... Circumference is the distance around a circle. And the way that you calculate the circumference is that it is, there's two different equations you can use. One of them comes from the other. Uh, you can use pi times the diameter, or you can use 2 pi times the radius. Either way works because remember the radius is just half of the diameter, so if you multiply it by 2, it makes it a diameter. Um, but anyway, these are the important equations that you're going to want for circumference. Uh, and really, you can get by with just one of them. Um, but yeah, there are two. Okay, so let's do an example of finding circumference. Um, so let's have our equation up here. Circumference is pi times diameter, or 2 pi r. And so here's our circle. And for this one, we'll say, um, I don't know, the radius is 3. And we'll say it's 3 inches. Okay, so if we want to find the circumference, all we have to do is take what we have and plug it into one of these. Um, if I wanted to, since this is a radius, I could take it and multiply it by 2 to make it a diameter first, or I could just plug it into the equation that involves the radius. Either way, we want to identify what we know is the radius. So then our circumference is 2 times pi times the radius, which is 3. Okay, so then there's two different ways that you can write your answer when you're talking about circumference of a circle. There's exact form, and then there's a rounded decimal. Um, so some of the questions that you'll see will ask you for something called exact form, which means that we leave pi in our answer. So any of the numbers that are not pi, I multiply them together. So, you know, we have 2 times pi times 3. I'm going to multiply 2 times 3 to get 6. So I'm just putting those numbers together. I'm simplifying things. So 2 times 3 is 6, and then we still have pi. So this would be our answer in exact form. So we would leave our pi in it and we would call it 6 pi inches. Or if you want the number to actually be, um, like if this is your final step, um, typically is the place that you would see something like where you'd put a rounded decimal. Um, because I don't really know, you know, how long, how many inches 6 pi inches is. But if I get a rounded decimal, that might be a number that's more useful to me in the future. But if I'm going to keep working with equations or if I'm asked for exact form, this is the number that I would want to use. Anyways, the rounded decimal version of this, you toss it in your calculator 6 times pi. 
Uh, typically use the pi button. Some uh, books and things will tell you to use 3.14 as pi, um, but most calculators nowadays have a pi button. Um, so I would just use your pi button and we should get approximately 18.85 inches. So this would be rounded, or exact form up here, rounded decimal down here. And this is rounded to the nearest hundredth. Sometimes they want rounded to the nearest tenth of the nearest thousandth, or the, even the nearest whole inch. Um, so pay attention to how far rounded you're asked to have your answer. Anyways, this is how you would find a circumference given a radius. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is given a circumference, we're going to find things like the radius or the diameter. So here we go. All right, so we're going to say our circumference is 9.25 feet. Okay, so, uh, and we want to find the radius. So for this one, what we have to do is take our one of our equations. Uh, we know circumference is pi times diameter or 2 pi r. You can use either of these equations, but this one, since we're solving for r, you might want to use this one. Um, but if you want to see how to find diameter as well, we can always use this one as well. Um, so we're going to take our circumference and we're going to set it equal to one of those equations. So I'm going to go 9.25 equals pi times diameter. This will get us the diameter, but we can always divide by 2 to get the radius right afterwards, just like we would if we were using this equation. Okay, so then what we need to do is on both sides, we want to get diameter by itself. So we have to get rid of the pi. So we have to divide on both sides by pi. Okay, so then uh, grab the calculator real quick. Uh, 9.25 divided by. Uh, where's the pi button? There it is. Enter. 2.94. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other values. We'll call it 2.9444. Just so we keep a few extra since that's not our final answer. So that's the diameter. And then if I wanted to find the radius, uh, I would just take diameter and divide it by 2. to get the radius. So divide by 2, we get 1.47. OK, so if we were asked for the diameter, it would be 2.94. If we were asked for the radius, it would be 1.47. And there we go. Now we can see all of it. All right, so that's how we would find the radius or the diameter if we are given the circumference. Okay, and again, circumference is the distance around the outside of a circle. So then the second value that we're interested in this week with circles is the area. Um, so let's do some stuff with area. Okay. So this is our circle. Uh, Typically, we are either given the radius or the diameter if we're asked to find the area. Um, so let's say we've got the diameter is 12. The equation for area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So that's another equation that you're going to want to write down and remember and have on hand when you're doing your assignment. So area is pi times the radius squared. A few things with this equation in particular, make sure you deal with the squaring part before you do the multiplying part. Remember your order of operations, exponents before multiplication. Um, other than that, first we want to identify what we're given. This is a diameter. Oh, and we'll say that this is centimeters. So this is a diameter. This equation 
involves the radius. So we do need to divide this by two to get the radius first. So the radius in this case is six. So then we're just plugging it in right here. Area equals pi times six squared. And again, we need to do the squaring first. So six squared is 36. So this is 36 pi. And then our units are gonna be square centimeters because we're now having area. It's not just linear units, it's squared units. Um, and so again, we run into this uh, thing where we have exact form and we have rounded decimals. So this would be the exact form of our answer. The rounded decimal version would involve typing 36 times pi into your calculator to get 113.1 square centimeters. And so again, that would be our dec decimal approximation right there. Um, yeah, so that's how we would find the area given the diameter. And of course, if you're given the radius already, it's even easier. All you have to do is plug and chug. Um, but yeah, so there's finding the area. Now we'll do the same kind of thing that we did with circumference. We were given a circumference and asked to find the radius and the diameter. This time we're gonna be given an area and asked to find the radius and or the diameter. Okay. So we know area is pi r squared. And let's say we're given this time an area of 300 square inches. OK, so just like we did with the circumference, uh, we're going to take the area and we're going to set it equal to the area equation. So circumference, we set it equal to circumference equation. Area, we set it equal to the area equation. So we're going to go 300 equals pi r squared. And now we need to solve for the radius. So the first step here is going to be to get rid of pi. Um, so we're going to save the square rooting for the end. So we're going to divide by pi on both sides. So now we have 300 over pi equals r squared. And I would leave it like this first. So that uh, with instead of rounding at this intermediate step, I would leave it as 300 over pi because then your final step here is going to be to take the square root of both sides. And then you can just take the square root of 300 divided by pi and get an, a more exact answer. So the square root of 300 divided by pi in your calculator is going to be 9.77 inches for the radius. And then of course, if you were asked to find the diameter instead, you would just multiply that by two. Um, so 9.77 times two would give us 19.54 uh, for the diameter. So again, if you were asked for radius, we're good to go. If you were asked for diameter, you would multiply it by two. And that's pretty much everything that we've got for finding areas and circumferences um, and using those to find radius and diameter and things like that. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, send me an email, come to Google Meet class. Um, otherwise, have a wonderful day. See you guys later.